This is Dr. Ezekiel Fink, inventor of the Oxaguide. I saw this thing, I thought Star Trek has arrived. So what, uh, what is this thing? So this is an occipital nerve locator. Um, if you, this is a, a, a sample of the device. If you place this over the occipital protuberance, and we'll, we'll do a live demo in a moment, um, which is a, the large protrusion on the occiput in the bone of the back of the head, these come down over the mastoid process, and that relative anatomy actually lines up the path of the greater and lesser occipital nerve. So if you inject one to two cc's of 1% lidocaine in each one of these injection ports, you can get four nerve blocks done relatively quickly. Um, research has shown just lidocaine actually gives you up to two weeks of relief for migraine, post-traumatic headaches, many of the headaches you'll see in an emergency room setting. Now, why not just do it off the cuff and feel for your landmarks? What, what's the advantage of using those ports? So there are a couple issues here. First is many uh, practitioners in the acute care setting aren't doing it at all. And a lot of that is concern working on the head. So this actually lines up the landmarks for many of the practitioners who aren't doing it at all. There are a lot of different ways to do it. This is one of the methodologies. Uh, if you just feel for the landmarks, certainly that could be a way to do it. Uh, I'm a neurologist. I've done well over a thousand of these. Many of them were using that method, but we feel that this is a methodology that allows reproducibility and confidence in doing it. We actually, the, we actually uh, ran a trial at Houston Methodist. The, the clinical director of the emergency room, Dr. Ben Saldana, actually one of the feedback, it's part of the feedback that he gave us because he was doing acceptable nerve blocks with the blind eye beforehand was when he was actually getting the consent form from the patients, he'd actually hold it up and say, we're going to try this on you. And it was a new method that patients had a lot of confidence in versus saying, I'm going to put some needles in the back of your head, which he felt there wasn't as much acceptance in that types of treatment. So there, there's, I think, several justifications for using this. And are these, so I've got, we've got these little ports here that you, I guess you put the needle through and are those sterile? I mean, how, how does that work? So this, it works a lot like uh, the, an IV line. What you want to do is you want to sterilize the scalp before going and doing it. So you do an upside down V. You go from the occipital protuberance up to the, ma uh, excuse me, uh, from the mastoid process up to the occipital protuberance on one side and then do the same thing on the other side. Then once you place this, you want to actually do, like an IV port, you want to put alcohol over each one of these and then it's ready to go. Although it is a single use because blood products are involved in the procedure. So 70% uh, of headache sufferers are women, so this is designed actually to work through the hair. So sometimes finding the bony landmarks through hair is difficult, so this is actually designed to, to, to account for that. What you do is you find the occipital protuberance, you put this down over that. Uh, we spoke up before about the prep, uh, so I'm not going to do that right now, but that's part of the procedure. You see it fits on like reverse sunglasses. Then you bring the wings down over the mastoid process. This is over the occipital protuberance again. Do that on both sides. And there you have lined up greater and lesser occipital nerves on each side. You can do the nerve block uh, pretty rapidly. And again, we, we did a trial at Houston Methodist. We had outstanding results. We have MDs, nurse practitioners, physician assistants all using it. They're moving it into all their uh, emergency rooms and we're hoping to use it pretty much anywhere people want to try it.